order for Solution Reach to pull the correct recall date from our database, the continuing care due dates must be updated after the due date has been populated from the treatment rendered that day. This should be completed at checkout. These dates must be modified for our managed care patients and the due date should be changed to one year and one day from the date treatment is rendered. This will be done for our exams and hygiene continuing care dates. To modify the continuing care type for the patient, in the ledger you will see procedures posted that are going to generate the continuing care dates. Now, from the family file with the patient selected, double click the continuing care block. The patient continuing care box now appears. Select the continuing care type you want to edit. Now select edit. The Set Continuing Care dialog box appears. Note, if the selected continuing care type is already set for the patient, the date column for the continuing care type will contain a date. For the due date, to set the due date for the patient's recall, click the search button. Change the interval to reflect the amount of time that should elapse between the patient's recall visits and select plus one day to prevent insurance billing problems if the carrier has strict interval requirements. For the status, to assign the continuing care status to the patient, select the appropriate statuses. Statuses are primarily used when generating continuing care list. Once completed, select OK. Follow the same steps for each recall type. After the dates have been modified, you will select Close.